John, we spoke on Saturday after about the need to bounce back quickly, and mm. uh, I know you've been working with the guys this morning on the training ground. What's the mood? The mood is remarkably good. Um, obviously, everyone's feeling very sorry for themselves after uh, Saturday's performance, and um, it, uh, we try to put everything in context. It's the first forty-five minutes. We just weren't us. Um, we, we've. I don't think I've ever been bullied before this team. Uh, it, last season or this season, we've never been bullied before. But we got bullied in the first 45 minutes, and when I look at the uh, personnel in the team, I don't expect to get bullied. You know, people like Eisel um, in the side, and uh, Eisel said one or two managers this season have said to me that um, that Eisel's beat up their two central defenders. You know, um, and I know he got injured very early on, so he didn't uh, uh, he didn't play the full game, but. Um, in other positions, you know, at the back, in particular at the back, they were all goals that, that that shouldn't have happened. They weren't creative. You know, sometimes when people score very good goals against you, you have to stand back and say, well, there's not a great deal we could do about it. It was a very well-created goal and, um, you know, uh, a bit of brilliance by the opposition. But every goal was, was preventable and it was embarrassing from our point of view uh, in, in the ease in which they scored the first three goals. And um, uh, much better second half, of course. Um, but as I said on Saturday, you know, there's no pressure on us in the second half. You're 3-0 down. Um, we scored three quality goals, I have to say. And they were all creative goals. They weren't goals that were just thrown into their penalty box and hope that somebody wins a header, which is really what happened uh, to us in the first half. But um, some glaring errors by our defence. Um, but we sat and watched it this morning, sat and watched the, the, the DVD and... Um, it's not some, quite a quiet room, wasn't it, when that was going on? Well, there was there was one person who was, was a bit noisy, which was myself. Um, but um, uh, I don't always enjoy sat there watching it and, and, and obviously singling out people. Um, but it had to be done. Uh, we had to be very aware of, of what went on on Saturday, that, that it never, ever repeats itself. And, um, you know, as I've always said over the years... Um, you can accept someone who, who loses a match um, but is given everything they possibly can um, and you get outplayed sometimes and some, sometimes the opposition is better than you, sometimes the striker is better than the defender and, and scores a worldly goal but from, from our point of view it was, um, it was self-created on Saturday um, through um, lack of uh, concentration and um, lack of real sort of physical presence by by our defence in particular so uh, we can put it right that's the great thing about football you can go out there's normally a game coming along pretty quickly and in our case three days later we're playing Warsaw and um, you can go out tomorrow night and and um, try and put some of those bad memories behind from the weekend and um, you know I always try and look forward Bruce you know that I uh, don't want to harp too much about last weekend's performance, but that will serve as a timely reminder in um, going out into a game and and, uh, and not being switched on mentally and physically. The squad itself, you obviously got some options possibly mm. to make some changes. Uh, one or two players still unavailable, but yeah. uh, there are some options there, aren't there? There are. I mean, you saw Harry yesterday for QPR. He just... Uh, he uh, upset a few. He's got a slightly bigger squad than we have. <laughs> <laughs> he's got about 20 spare players there and uh, he, he rung the changes yesterday and it had a it had the desired effect now whether or not that that uh, you can keep that momentum going um, by changing the team obviously uh, they're not in the team initially because you've got other opinions um, but he changed it yesterday and he got a, he got an amazing response from his team and um, I don't quite have uh, that, that option of, of so many changes but uh, yeah, there will be one or two changes tomorrow night, and um, I think that uh, we'll see a slightly different uh, attitude, maybe from one or two tomorrow night in the game. And Walsall are not having a great season themselves, mm. but I know you think that they're in a false position because they've got some good players there, haven't they? They are, Bruce, and um, I, I, you know, obviously from next Saturday, I hope that uh, they um, they get the results that probably their football. Um, Justifies, you know, they're an excellent football team. Dean's got them playing very good football, and and sometimes if you continue to play that way over the course of the season, you'll you'll get your just rewards, you know. And uh, uh, we have to make sure it don't start though until this weekend. Uh, we need to beat them tomorrow night, and um, uh, I've got my captain back tomorrow night, which is uh, pleasing. It's been a long, he's been a long time out. Um, 
He's only played the 60 odd minutes he played against Yeovil since the start of the season. So he's back into contention tomorrow night. So um, I'm looking forward to a home win.